Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Saturday, the 4th of June. With Robert Murray McShane, the two chapters we read today are Isaiah chapter 36 and Revelation chapter 6. And there's a link between them. In the Isaiah passage, the king of Assyria is slowly taking over um, the ancient land of Israel. The northern kingdom has fallen and he starts attacking Judah. He sends the commander of his forces to the gates of Jerusalem to taunt the people. And he, challenged the, he challenges them and says, who are you trusting in? Nobody's going to deliver you. Best you give up now. And we're told in verse 18, he shouts to the people, do not let Hezekiah mislead you. And he says, the Lord will deliver us. Have the gods of any nations ever delivered their lands from the hand of the king of Assyria? And he taunts them and says, don't trust in God, because no God is stronger than the king of Assyria. Look all around you. All the other gods have fallen, um, so you, you're on shaky ground. The perspective of the people in Judah are the gods you're referring to aren't gods at all. They're statues. They're lifeless. They have, as Isaiah says elsewhere, they have, they have mouths but cannot speak. They have hands but they cannot do anything. They've got feet. They can't move. They have to be nailed down to keep them from falling. Of course, those gods aren't, aren't going to deliver them. But we serve the Lord God Almighty. And so they, they keep silent. And next thing we have, the king of Assyria here some news. He, he retreats from uh, Judah and is eventually assassinated back in Assyria. And Assyria never does conquer Judah. His taunts were groundless. And he was the one that lost out. And then in the Revelation, we have um, at the end of time, those people like the king of Assyria will suddenly see where they stand. And we're told in verse 15, then at the last day, the kings of the earth the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in caves and among the rocks of, of the mountains. They called on the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. As judgment comes, they suddenly realize how wrong they are, and they panic and try and hide. And who can? You can't. So for, for our, from our perspective, we don't get disheartened when the world taunts us and makes a mockery and tries to, to make fun of our prayer and our trust in God. <laughs> They've been doing that for thousands of years, and uh, the faith has continued and grown. So we, we stand in the faith, despite what people around us say. And what we need to be doing is to be praying for them and reaching out to them and, and witnessing to them and trying to help them to see what we see. So that on the great day of judgment, they don't join the rest of the, the world in calling on the mountains to hide them and fall on them. Um, but they join us in standing around the throne, worshipping the Lord and joining the throng of heaven in praising him who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. So keep your faith. Um, uh, know that there are going to be challenges, but in the end, we know what, where the victory lies. And we are on the victorious side. Be blessed.